So the question asks how, for how many 2 by 2 matrices A? Is it true that A squared equals identity matrix? And we also need to answer the same question for n by n matrices where n is greater than 2. Uh, well, so since A squared needs to equal identity, needs to be equal to identity matrix, that means that A times A equals identity matrix. So let us consider any arbitrary matrix of order 2. So let A be equal, for instance, A, B, C, D. Then A times A equals matrix A times matrix A. Now let's find this product. So it equals A squared plus BC, AB plus BD, AC plus DC, and uh, uh, C CB plus D squared. So this is our product matrix. And since we know that this product matrix equals identity matrix, we get that we get that this equals one zero zero one. So this means that A squared plus B C equals one. A B plus B D equals zero. A C plus D C equals zero. And uh, C B C B plus D squared equals one. Well, uh, now we have um, four equations, uh, and we will try to get some information about A B C and D from these equations. Uh, so, let's rewrite it as a squared plus bc equals 1, um, d squared plus bc equals 1, then uh, b times a plus d equals 0, and uh, c times a plus d equals 0. Uh, now, uh, we can look at uh, several scenarios. We here, the first one is a plus d does not equal 0. So if a plus d does not equal 0, then from these two equations, we get that d equals 0 and c equals 0. If d equals 0 and c equals 0, then from our those two equations, these two equations, we get that BC equals 0, that means that A, that A equals pl plus or minus 1, and same for D, D equals positive or negative 1. So we get the matrix, which looks like this, so matrix A looks like this, so here we have A, 0, 0, and and we also know that a equals positive or negative one and d equals positive or negative one. Well, now let's look at another scenario. If a plus d equals zero, so a plus d equals zero. Um, However, from the first two equations, from the pink ones, uh, we see that a squared and equals d squared, because uh, a squared equals 1 mi minus bc, and d squared equals 1 minus bc. So a squared e equals d squared, and bc a squared equals d squared, that means that a equals minus negative d so so we get that bc equals one 
then c equals 1 over b so we get the matrix which looks like this so matrix a equals 0 a a inverse 0 where a so as we can see therefore there are infinitely many matrices um, if the field is set of real numbers such that a squared equals an identity matrix so that means that if for two by two matrices there are infinity infinitely many matrices which satisfies this, this uh, expression then for n by n matrices there also will be infinitely many matrices